Hey guys, Kidgear here, and today I got a video on setting up filters in Mozilla Thunderbird. Uh, now you can do the same if you use Outlook or anything else like that, and Gmail has this uh, feature built into. So uh, it's pretty much the same concept, just different way to get to it, different panel, but Thunderbird's pretty much the easiest that I've seen. So uh, I'm going to show you what filters are, how they can help, and how to set them up. So I'm going to open up Thunderbird right now. It's my email client. And I'm going to go through setting up a filter with you guys. I'm actually going to delete a current filter I made when I was recording this video. Uh, so, one second here. Okay, so Thunderbird's opened up here. And now I see in my inbox right here, I got a lot of uh, email, about 280. Now here are about another 100 of them separated into uh, what they're called filters now. Here's the one that I get a lot of email from, and this is a group called Tech Podcast. I'm part of the Tech Podcast Network, and they have a lot of email that filters in, and it messes up my inbox. So I like to have it in a separate folder. Now, I just made this folder called TPN, and I set up a filter for it, so anything that comes in with the word Tech Podcast gets separated into this folder. That way, my inbox is much more clean, and this is all organized. Same thing for Twitter. I get a lot of followers, direct messages. It's all you know, separated here, and it's cool because I just get to see the latest followers and stuff like that all organized into one folder. And it just keeps my inbox that much more smaller. So I'm going to go into my inbox here and look at another thing that I want to set up. And if you notice, I have a couple emails from Newegg, some from Tiger Direct. This is all just, you know, sales stuff and, you know, new sales, new deals. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up one for online shopping. So if you go into Tools, Message Filters, and then here you see the two I already have. I want to pick your filter where you want to set it. I'm going to set it from my KidGuru Center account. I'm going to hit New. And I'm going to name it Online Shopping. Now, at the same time on the side, I'm going to go over here, right click, hit New Subfolder, and name it again Online Shopping. And make the subfolder uh, go into KidGuru Center. Choose this for the parent. And then I'm just going to put the folder right there. Now, I already, uh, now it's empty here. Okay, so. Now I'm going to go back here, and I know this looks a little confusing, but I'm going to explain it to you, the breakdown. Now, you can set it for match all of the following, match any of the following, or match all messages. I like using match any of the following. Now, here's your first little box here. Now, you can separate it from subject, uh, you know, if you want the subject name to be whatever. You can go from from, body, date, priority, status, to, cc, age and days, size, or just make your own custom one. I like using subject because it's the most easiest. Now, next is contains. Now, this is saying whether whatever the first box, whether the subject contains, does it contain, is, or isn't, begins with the word that you signify, or, you know, put in. So, I'm going to put in, for example, new egg. So, altogether, it's going to say, it's, uh, Thunderbird is going to do this. It's going to calculate whether the subject of an email that comes in contains the word new egg. So, you know, it all works out in one whole sentence in when it goes my phone sorry about that but anyways uh, again so it all works out because any subject or anything so like the from if the from meaning the email that you get it from so if the email in any email contains uh, the word new egg like the sender like if it was from new egg dot uh, new egg at new egg dot com it'll filter it out now I can even do date so if the date is whatever you know if the date is today, I'm going to filter out in the folder that says today, yesterday, whatever, you know. You can set it as you please, but I'm going to set subject. So subject contains the word new egg. And then if you hit this little plus here, you can make another one. So again, if the subject contains the word, I'm going to say Tiger Direct. But actually, Tiger Direct doesn't have their emails. Uh, they don't subject, they don't title their emails with this. They'll say like shopping or like get a 22 inch monitor for however. But I'm going to set the from Tiger Direct. So again, if you want to check, this is just an example. I'm going to go back into my inbox here and show you what I mean. Now if you, so if I'm going to scroll down right here, and let me just exit this. If Let me find a Tiger Direct email from them. Okay, right here. No, 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 it's too paint my bed. Tiger Direct, Tiger Direct. Tiger Direct, where's all my Tiger Direct mail? I didn't delete them, did I? Let me search Tiger Direct. Oh, they're all, where they're all. And they're not popping up. Let's see. Look through it again. Hey, it looks like I deleted them, so I'm just going to set another one also. So you can set as many as you want. I'm not sure what the limit is. Let's see. I guess you can, yeah, you can just keep on going. Okay, I'm going to set another one if it's from, and it contains the word tube tape. It's another site I shop at, green screen apparel, and that's right. Here you can see who the sender is, for example, like I was just setting one up for 
tube tape. So they say tube tape dot com. I can click on the email. Which I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna see it's from Scott at tube tape dot com. So if anything comes with the word tube tape in it, it's gonna filter it out. So I got all my filters set up for my online shopping. Now I'm gonna set the actions I want it to perform. I can make it move the message to uh, anywhere, you know, another account, whatever. But I'm gonna make it go into the online shopping folder. Or you can even copy a message, forward a message, reply with a template, which that is is basically if you, let's say you have a support email, and uh, for example, I have a Wii URL support, and anytime somebody sends something through there, it'll tag it, Wii URL support, or it'll title it. I'm going to make a filter for like Wii URL support, and anytime an email comes in through that support email, uh, I can have a template sent back saying, you know, uh, will reply within 24 hours. You've seen something like that. If you've ever emailed any support, usually you'll get an email back saying, we've got your feedback, we'll be responding to you within whatever, whatever amount of time. Mark it as red, add a star to it, add set priority to it. If it's important, tag a message, send junk status, delete the message, or just delete it from the server altogether. I'm just going to move the message to the uh, folder just to make it more organized. So i got all three of my filters set up. I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm just going to hit click Online Shopping and hit run now and what it's going to do it's going to run the filter and it's just going to take a second because it has to go through all email and if you noticed online shop a lot of email just came out from my inbox it's it was filtering through them all and if i go into the online shopping folder there's one from tube tape i'm wondering why i didn't grab the new egg ones i'm guessing because most of the new egg ones either got deleted and again if you mess up you want to perfect the filter you can always go back in just click edit and I'm gonna change the subject instead and go to from and see if that helps any. Run it again. So you just, it's you know it's trial and error just to see uh, if you get your filters perfectly right. And I'm just gonna wait again as it runs. And there you go. It filtered it. Ran the filter. And there you go. It brought in all my email from Newegg, from Tube Tape, from some from uh, no no none from Tiger Direct because I guess I don't have any. But uh, it doesn't only sort out email you've already received, but just email that's coming let's say I get an email like a couple minutes later on that comes from Tiger Direct it'll filter it right away it's that smart it just it runs that calculation and you can even check the filter log here if you click it uh, the filter log documents everything you filtered so you can enable that if you want and you can clear the log so if you ever want to see what comes in and what you deleted what was filtered through if anything messes up you know it gets another word you can see that through a logging um, and you can set it from other accounts for your local folders. You can set a lot of them for whatever purposes. Again, I have mine for Tech Podcast Network, for Twitter, for online shopping. So, yeah, guys, I hope that helps you out. Filtering helps, uh, you know, does a lot of organization. And it just helps you get things done more often because everything's all sorted out for you, easy to access. So, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out adrianstech.com, weurl.com, and tutgeek.com. Uh, send any video requests to adrianstech at gmail.com. And just comment, rate, and subscribe, guys. Thanks for watching.